Hey creative friends, welcome to my channel and in this video we are going to make one of the super cute little magic hankies that I showed when we went to Connecticut and we um, were clearing out my in-laws home and uh, I found this adorable little baby bonnet, it's basically a little hanky bonnet and it has this super cute poem and I'll read the poem to you and after I read the poem in the last one, uh, one of you actually told me there's another little verse to that poem so i loved it but it's called the magic hanky and it says i'm just a little handkerchief quite square as you can see but with the stitch or two they made a bonnet out of me i'll be worn home from the hospital or on christening day the neatly pressed and folded i'll be carefully packed away on her wedding day a bride must have traditionally something old good luck good health and happiness it brings her so it's told then what could be more pleasant than to unpack little me, to snip a tit stitch or two and find her handkerchief I'll be. Here's the extra verse. And if perchance it is a boy, some day he'll wed, so to his bride he can present the hanky once worn upon his head. Now I'm going to write that in the description so you guys can write it down. But I had to try to figure this out. I didn't want to un stitch it although it's just like one little stitch right there holding the whole thing together and one little stitch on the little um the little ties so i kind of figured this out now i like handkerchiefs i have a bunch of handkerchiefs i love them and i had this one this one clearly is much cuter because it's super delicate super little lacy thing and it's beautiful but in order just to show how it's done, I'm just going to use one of the handkerchiefs that I have. I just got a whole little order of handkerchiefs. So what I did was I looked at this one and kind of figured it out. So I've got my handkerchief. I had to iron it so that I could remember because it's kind of kind of weird. But I got a little, little needle and thread so that I can sew on my little ties. And what I did was I took a little bit of ribbon and I got a little yellow because it kind of matches that. And thir two 13 inch strips of ribbon is what you're going to need uh, for the ties on this little, this little um, hanky. Now I took the top portion of it, which makes the front fold right here. And that's about two inches and that's where you're going to put the tie on. So I folded it over what would be the two inches because there's going to be the front of the bonnet you see now what was really confusing was this back part because i kept wanting it to go a certain way and it doesn't it actually folds and overlaps there and in order to make that happen what you do is you take i gotta get my little my little thread ready i'm gonna put these little um ties on after i've got it all folded so you've got the two inches down and turn it over so now you have this part of the hanky so I'm gonna come down about an inch a little bit maybe three-quarters of an inch and fold this over so that is going to overlap in the center so this is about the center of the hanky here it's gonna overlap about two inches and then this side comes over and it overlaps about two inches so you can see how this is See, I want to show you. So this is folded this way with the, the two inches that we folded over, folded that over, and then turn the whole hanky down with the folded side under. Come down about three quarters of an inch here. I'm trying to make sure you guys can see this good. And fold it all the way over. And you're going to be about an inch down from this edge here. So see how that's about an inch down from the edge. And you see how... The center is going to overlap. This, this little bit here is going to overlap. So, one side down, and then the second side overlaps that and comes to the same center. So, it kind of reminds me of back when, oh my gosh, I'm totally going to show my age. You remember when you used to take a newspaper and fold it to make one of those little captain's hats? Well, it kind of looks like that. So, you've got, you've got on one side, you've got your two inches folded down. And on the other side, you have the two edges coming in, so they overlap, and they're about an inch down from the front edge. Then, you're going to take these and fold this back to where they match in the middle. Let me show you that a little bit better. I'm trying to get it so you can see it really well. Ah, uh, here. There we go. 
So let me hold this up. I wonder if I can hold, there you go. So this is gonna be a little bit better. Okay, so see how this is overlapped? So you're gonna fold this back so that it's to the center of the, the hanky. So there's one half. And then you gotta come in here and get this half and fold it over. So these two edges butt up next to each other like that. And what you've done then is you create this little bit down here. So basically it kind of is like that, right? But then it has this little this little bit right here and that's gonna fold in. So that's what you're gonna have. It's like origami. <laughs> so then you simply take this point and fold it down to where it meets the edge, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little stitch in there. So let me do this real quick so that you can see it one more time because this was kind of confusing. I'm gonna take the hanky itself and I'm gonna fold the front down two inches. Then I'm gonna turn it over. And if you just have a plain white hanky, you don't have to worry about any of the pattern or anything. So now I've got that folded over. Now I'm gonna take one side, I'm gonna come down about three quarters of an inch here and I'm gonna fold it in. And that's gonna put that overlapping the middle and down about three quarters to an inch from the front edge. See that? Then I'm gonna do the same thing with this side. So there they are, the two sides overlapping, making kind of this triangle. Now these two little sides are gonna to have to fold to where the edges butt up against each other, like that. And then what you have is you're gonna to wanna to press this point down and then bring the point up to there. Okay, that's what you're gonna do. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna barely overlap those two things and put this point on them. And I'm gonna take literally a stitch, one stitch in there. Just one stitch to hold this together. One little stitch right there to go through all three layers, the point and both sides. And then tie a little knot. Okay. Let me tie my little knot. So it's it's only one stitch that really holds this whole thing together. And then, okay, that's good. Where's my little snippy scissors? Oops, I missed one. Okay, let me go back in there and grab this one. Hang on. See, I'm not going to edit out this blooper because I'm a real human. Hmm? Okay, I want them to overlap. See how I want them to overlap so that when I stitch through there, I'm going to catch all three of them. Now let me tie another knot. This is real. This is a real deal, guys. I'm not editing anything out of this. Okay. So now I've got those two pieces overlapped and the point there. So I've got the two pieces that are, there we go. These two pieces overlapped and then the little point right there. Now I want to make sure I go through all three pieces. There we go. Now I got it. One little stitch. It's all you need. So now I have unthreaded my needle. Let me thread it. Man, maybe I should just make this whole video over. Nah. I'm not gonna. All right. So there's that. And now I will go and sew, sew my, little, my little bits on. My little ties. So there's the back of the bonnet, okay? Now I'm gonna sew, sew my little ties on. And on the ties, what I did was I just folded over the edge just a little bit. I'm gonna come to about the center of this piece on the side, so there's your front folded edge. And did I tie a knot? I don't even know. Nope, let me tie a knot. And that's gonna be a one stitch as well. I just think this is adorable. I love old stuff like this. I think it's so cute. So there, let me put one little stitch through there. And, and, you know, I really doubt that any baby is going to wear a baby bonnet like this uh, home from the hospital anymore. Probably wearing little miniature, like, running suits or super cute things. But I think it's adorable, and I would still make one of these and put it in a baby card, maybe. A congratulations card or something like that. I would still do that. Because I think it's cute. And I love these old things. I'm a vintage kind of girl. If it's vintage, I love it. So, I'm going to do one more. I don't know if I have enough thread. I do. All right. 
And then here I've got my little edge folded 13 inch strip of ribbon. And I'm going to come through there and make one stitch. So this didn't take long, actually, if I didn't have to redo it. But, uh, but it was weird when I first started doing it. I thought, how is this set up? It was really kind of kind of weird to figure out how it was folded because I wanted not to overlap it in my mind. But you do have to do that little overlap for it to work out fine. All right. There we have it. Speaking of vintage, I'll show you this super cute uh, needle book that my husband's grandfather made. Had her initial on it and it's a little felt and it's all the needles that we use right there super neat all right there it is there is my little baby bonnet isn't that adorable there's your little bonnet and i would still iron down, down the edge to make sure that it's nicely nicely folded there we go kind of fold that up right there okay there is your little magic hanky baby bonnet isn't that cute so that would be adorable. Oh, I got to iron that flat. I creased it. But I hope you guys give these little things a shot. And I think this would be adorable. Put in a baby card um, just as a keepsake for the baby. So there you have it. I hope you guys make one. And as always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in my next video.